Hi guys, Techman here. Welcome to a, another video. This in front of you is the All Powers Monster X 1700 Watt Hour Portable Power Station, also known as Solar Generator. Now, back in early 2020, when this was first announced on crowdfunding website Indiegogo, the Monster X looked a promising prospect. I don't think there were many portable power stations of its size. The Blue AT AC200 had not yet been announced. Originally advertised at a capacity of 1300 watt hours, the Monster X looked to be a huge step towards the future of portable power stations. I mean, look at it, it does look very well built. I, um. I'm stunned. We have AC outlets along the top. USB-A and USB-C ports on the left, together with a 12 volt DC output, and charging ports on the right hand side. This is a 5.5mm by 2.1mm DC port, and we have an Anderson power pole connection here. On the back we have an AC adapter port to charge the monitor egg via AC wall outlet. Now those of you who have watched my previous videos already know that my friend Agent M had backed this campaign based on my recommendation. There were some limitations with the All Powers Monster X, but we were really looking forward to receiving this unit. That is, before the disappointing delays and problems that this unit faced. Shipping of the units were delayed by over a year and many received faulty units. Some backers are still waiting for the units more than 12 months later. It promised to be a cracking device, and it is cracked. Yep, this unit also arrived with cracks around the handles, and now one of the handles have completely snapped off. That's ridiculous. And therefore I will not be reviewing the All Pass Monster X just yet. I can't recommend a product that has a huge design flaw. Those of you who have been looking at the campaign page would know that tens, if not hundreds of backers have reported to have received units with cracks around the handles, just like this one. Now we reported this to All Powers on a number of occasions, but communication with All Powers has been far from satisfactory. Only after reporting the poor levels of customer service on my Twitter account did we receive a response. And as it stands, we're still negotiating on getting the top shell repaired or replaced. I'll keep you all updated when this is resolved. Thank you for what you're doing. Keep doing it. Now coming back to the unit itself, I have performed a couple of charge and discharge cycles. I have noticed some unusual behavior, but generally the device has worked okay. I have noted down the activity, but I am going to hold on revealing this information until the unit has been repaired. Again, I can't recommend this unit in its current state, and nor can I recommend all powers based on our current communication. Now the Monster X does have a lot of good points and features. Perhaps if this unit is fully repaired, we can take an in-depth look at it in a future video. As I mentioned earlier, the unit does have its limitations. Just to mention a few, it does not house lithium iron phosphate cells. The solar input is also quite limited. The fans can be loud when charging and discharging with AC power. And I've noticed that the battery SOC or state of charge meter is not very accurate. I believe that they are using cell voltage to determine the state of charge of the unit. Now this is not the most accurate way to measure remaining battery capacity. I have done some tests and noted down the results and hopefully I can reveal these in a future video when the unit has been repaired. But for now I'm going to keep things as they are and I don't plan to review the unit just yet for the reasons I gave earlier. Now this is my own opinion. But let me know in the comment section below if you're thinking of purchasing this device and if you'd like me to review the unit to help you make your decision. As I mentioned earlier, I cannot personally recommend the All Powers Monster X in its current state, but that is my own personal opinion. My dear friend Agent M actually loves the device and is using it on a daily basis. Now just before I sign off, I'd like to be honest and give credit where it's due. And so I'd like to say that personally I think All Powers has a lot on their hands and the way they are handling all these issues is not the best. But I'd like to give them credit where it's due. A. Not running away with backers money. And B. Trying to fulfill back orders on Indiegogo. If they could just improve the way they handle these issues and the issues that people are facing and speed up the repairing and replacing of faulty units, it would help to regain consumer confidence and attract more future sales. So have you ever purchased an all power solar generator or portable power station? How does it work for you? What are your thoughts and feelings? Let me know in the comment section below. Head over to the discussion page where we can discuss different products and continue talking about all powers and the Monster X. 
or reach out to me on Twitter with pictures and short clips about your All Powers experience. I'd like to feed all this back to All Powers to help them improve their customer service and build better portable power stations. Now what are the main competitors to the All Powers Monster X portable power station? Well, Bluetti have a number of power stations like the AC200P, AC200 Max, amongst others. There's also the Delta Pro and Delta Pro Max from EcoFlow. There are a number of others, but we'll take a look at that in more detail when we decide whether we need to review Monster X or not. I have reached out to EcoFlow and Bluetti on a number of occasions, however, I've received no response for them whatsoever. So I cannot vouch for those products until I have them in front of me to review side by side. Right, guys, as always, thanks very much for watching. We appreciate your help. Thank you so much. Take care, stay safe, stay green, and I'll catch you in the next one.